Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I could not get up this morning. Oh, I was like, I was like, no, nope, I cannot get up. I need to sleep. I was so tired. Um, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk. This morning we are talking about the requirement or non-requirement of accepting every apology, apology you receive. Um, but before we do that, happy Monday, everybody. Um, I hope you all slept well. I watched Succession last night. Then I watched Ballers after I put the kids to bed. And then... Um... And then I went to sleep and I slept until seven and I was so tired and I'm still tired. I'm, I'm telling you the uh, LA to Birmingham time change really messes me up. Also, I think it's like the change in weather. I don't know, but I can I just feel more tired lately. Um, I'm not getting sick. No, thank God. I better not be. Um, so anyway, okay. Um, so we're talking about, this morning we're talking about my hair has like sticky stuff in it because my kids came to say goodbye to me this morning and they were eating waffles and it had syrup and they touched my hair. So I have like syrup in my hair, which is always a good time. Um... I am so inappropriate. Oh my God. I just saw this thing that said that the Pope is considering lifting the ban of celibacy on priests. And I sent it to Father Bob and was like, whoop, whoop, now you can finally get some. And he wrote back and was like, don't fucking send me text messages. Like that. <laughs> oh my God. This is, you know what? I, I never... I never claimed to be reverent, people. I never claimed to be reverent. I need a lot of work. I need a lot of work. It's just a fact. So, all right. So anyway, um, I uh, have a bunch of stuff to do this, this week. And then um, I'm going to New Jersey for my birthday next weekend. Just for like a couple of days so um, I could see my family. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you're going to be traveling again? Yes, I am. Um, I did not get a flu shot yet, but I am going to. I get a flu shot every year, so coming. Happy birthday, Tony. Um, okay, so anyway, I want to talk about apologies. Because I was, you know, reading this message from this woman who, who, um, has a situation going on with a, another woman and that woman wants to apologize. And this woman said to me, I've been watching Coffee Talk for so long and I feel like I should be further along in my progress. I feel like I should be able to speak to this woman, receive her apology, accept her apology, you know, whatever. And here's the truth about apologies. You are not required to accept every apology you receive. There is some sort of false narrative that goes around in our mind that when someone makes the effort to apologize to us, we are required to accept it. And the truth is, we are not. Okay? It would be nice if you could get to a place where... You could, you could accept someone's apology and still say, hey, I accept your apology, but still I don't, you got to stay over there. I don't want you in my space. And that's typically where I am. 
But there are people out there where if they um, apologize to me, I would literally say to them, I hear you, but I do not accept your apology. There are people out there whose apology I would not accept for a million reasons. Jamie, why wouldn't you accept it? Because I think that what they did was intentional and premeditated, and I'm not interested in people who move like that. I don't believe that they would ever truly be sorry. They're the kind of people who only apologize to win points or earn friends. They're not sincere at all. They haven't done any work on themselves. So to me, their apology is bullshit. So I have no problem looking at somebody and being like, I heard you, but I don't accept your apology. That's just me. I do not feel like I'm on, under any obligation to accept every apology I receive. I just don't. There are some that I receive, and I, like I said, I say, uh, I accept your apology. I still don't want to be cool with you, and I still don't want to hang out with you, but I believe that you've done the work, and I believe it's sincere, and I accept your apology, but I still don't want to hang out with you. You got to stay over there. So there are people like that, but just so we're clear, there are people who, if they tried, I'm not a narcissist. I'm not a narcissist by any stretch. But there are people who I don't believe have done the work. And their apology is just lip service. It's just words. So I don't accept that. That's me. Um, and I know the kind of people I'm dealing with. Because I pay attention. That's why. I pay attention to what people do, not just what they say. And the people whose apologies I would not accept at this point, there's not a lot. There's only three. And I, they are the same people they were when they did the shit they did. They've not done any work on themselves. I don't care if you got married. I don't care if you came into money. I don't care if you lost 15 pounds. I don't care whatever it is. Those things don't make you a better person. If getting married made you a better person, for real, Everyone's like, oh, she's come so far. She got married. She's got a little money. But I don't care. I don't care. Her getting married means nothing to me. Zero. Less than zero. Didn't mean shit to me when she was married. Didn't mean shit to me when she got divorced. It doesn't mean shit to me when she gets remarried. I don't care. Um, so I share this with you to say... You are not obligated to accept every apology that you receive. And I know it makes you feel bad. You feel guilty like, damn, they apologize, but I really don't. No, you don't have to feel bad at all. Don't feel bad. Don't feel guilty. Listen to your instinct. If your instinct says this is bullshit, guess what? It's bullshit. You are not obligated to accept it. And it is perfectly perfectly acceptable to say, I wish you no harm. I want only good things to happen to you. I don't accept your apology, just so we're clear. And I'd still appreciate it if you stayed over there. Right? Because I know everyone's gonna be like, but you're a Christian, you're supposed to forgive. Yeah, okay, God didn't say I have to forgive right now. I got the rest of my life to forgive. I could forgive on my deathbed if I choose. I could forgive in my transition from here to heaven if that's when I choose to forgive. We've only been called to forgive. There's no timeline on forgiveness. And right now, I don't for No, I don't forgive you right now. And when I say I'll pray for you, I'm lying. How about them apples? When I say I'll pray for you, I'm being, a sar I'm being sarcastic. I'm being patronizing because I'm not praying for you. I hope you stub your toe and break your pinky. That's what I really hope. And maybe that makes me petty. I'll be petty Pendergrass. 
Petty LaBelle. I don't care. I guess I'm petty. I'll be petty. But I'm not accepting apologies from people I know are not sorry. I'm not under any obligation to do so. And I will forgive when I'm ready to forgive. I am Christian and I do believe in forgiveness, but I'm not there yet and I don't have to be there. There's no expiration on that. And I'm not going to be bullied or pressured, especially not religious pressure. By the way, would you accept an apology from your ex-boyfriend, the narcissist? Uh, no, uh, I doubt it. I don't see, I just don't believe that he... The kind of apology I would accept from him is like, I didn't realize how damaged I was. And I'm, I hurt you because I'm hurt. I didn't realize that. He would have to have so much self-awareness to apologize to me for me to even consider accepting it. That's where he would have to go. And he doesn't have that kind of self-awareness. So I am to the pl I am to the place where I don't wish them any harm. Cuz at first I used to be like, no, I I legit wish that I want you to like slip down a flight of stairs. Do not fall cuz I don't want you to break your neck, but like slip so you bang your tailbone really hard. I really want that to happen. Like like it was to the point where Michael was like, "Girl, you stop. Like you are legit wishing these people will slip down a flight of stairs. And I was like, yeah, yes, I am. Yes, I, yes. True story. But now I'm past that. I don't really wish that they would slip down a flight of steps. Um, but I don't, I'm not interested in any apology from them. I won't accept it. I don't believe it at all. And if I'm truth. 100% truth be told, if I was drunk and in a bad mood and saw them, I would probably say mean things to them. I'm just keeping it 100%. I've told you, I'm not healed. I'm not 100% there. God is working on me. I am a work in progress, okay? I never claim to be, um, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm a work in progress, Okay. Um, I'm Weeza from Steel Magnolias, okay? Um, am I getting there? I mean, I'm closer than I was three years ago, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, so I guess I'm making progress. But on these women, slow and steady. I mean, slow. I don't even know if it's steady. Slow. Slow and sporadic. Um... No, I just, I know they haven't changed. It's like, if you know a dog bites, you know the dog bites. You're going to put yourself in that situation again? I mean, I don't, no, I'm good. I don't need any apologies from them. I don't believe them. I, no, and I'm not here to accept them. Hell no. Why? So they could clear their nasty ass conscience? You better get your nasty karma all the way away from me. I'm not interested. Okay. I love you. I love you very much. I hope that you have a great, great Monday.